Hero Brian is the character of a Minecraft community made creepypasta. One of the major community icons of Minecraft, he hasn't been present in any version of Minecraft. He's a human entity with the player skin as Steve. Hero Brian can sometimes be seen holding tools such as pickaxes. This stems from the widespread community belief that Hero Brian was a miner. Usually, his hands are empty. The first story and image ever posted about Hero Brian, as well as the Brocraft stream, are regarded as canonical. Things posted after these two events are considered fan made adaptations and variations. According to Notch himself, Hero Brian doesn't exist, with there being nothing connected to him in Minecraft's source code, without it being possible to exist in clients or servers, and if he appears anywhere in someone's game, it's due to either mods being installed or some other player using the skin. He supposedly builds random constructions and most notably sand pyramids underwater and 2x2 tunnels while sometimes cutting off all the leaves from trees. Hero Brian first appeared in a single image detailing an encounter. It was posted on the 4chan. V board and gained little attention. It stated how Hero Brian had appeared in someone's single player game, littering the map with various pyramids and tunnels, and was the first piece of media to name him as Hero Brian. It was only later that Hero Brian grew in popularity when the Brocraft streamer Copeland photoshopped Hero Brian into several screenshots to show to his chat, probably due to the fact that he had taken a liking into the story and wanted a way to be part of its development, so much to the point where he eventually decided to set up a host. Copeland had played through the world as a normal Let's Player would, avoiding the work in progress room he had set up for the hoax. Hero Brian was introduced to the stream 20 minutes and 45 seconds in, and was found out just to be a retextured painting. Copeland then screamed and ran out of the room, promptly ending the stream. Somebody call the Oscars. Anyway, since the Copeland stream, there's been an almost exponential increase in Hero Brian's notoriety, rocketing the idea into meme status, making him so iconic Minecraft themselves featured him on their official cover of the game. Notch posted on Twitter about the subject of Hero Brian early in his popular popularity boost. In a reply to a tweet asking if Hero Brian was a real entity in the game, Notch replied saying that he was not. There might be soon. This confirmed there was no Hero Brian, but suggested Notch planned to add him at a later date. Due to increased drama surrounding the Hero Brian page, a wiki administrator asked Notch over IRC if Hero Brian would ever be added, to which Notch replied, quote, I have no plans of adding Hero Brian as is, but I do like the rumors, haha, <laughs> unquote. This shows that something like Hero Brian may be added, fueling beliefs he will be added even further. So once again, the same user asked for clarification, saying that the Minecraft community was getting frustrated by the hero spam, to which Notch replied that he had no plans for adding Hero Brian into the game. As Minecraft passed on from Notch to Jeb, the chance of Hero Brian appearing in an update was unclear. On August 22nd of 2012, Dinnerbone, current joint developer of Minecraft, tweeted, Quote, we still have no plans at all to add Hero Brian. I doubt this will ever change. Unquote. This confirms that Hero Brian will probably never see an official release in Minecraft, and that any claims of finding Hero Brian in vanilla Minecraft in future updates are completely unfounded. Now, I don't know about you guys, but just looking into the meta of this makes me completely uninterested in this Minecraft lore story in general and its pasta. Knowing the onset of Hero Brian as an entity in the Minecraft community was a clout move by a streamer of the game really makes me dissatisfied with how this came to be. For that, I really dislike this story, realizing that it didn't develop for the purposes of providing someone with a scare, and only doing so, but due to pumping of the background behind it, with superstition fueling the horror behind it. You could be saying, well Sovereign, how did you expect it to grow on its own without somebody who was relevant back then building upon it? Stories that resonate with me the most personally tend to be the ones where an author put what they thought was a scary piece of text on the internet and hoped it would catch on. When an attention grab is behind something meant to be a mysterious part of a video game, it ruins the mystery. And that, good folks, is why I'm unenthusiastic about the Hero Brian story.